Hey everyone, my name is Keely and I'm the owner and creator here at Soy Ying Shea and thank you for joining me for another behind the scenes look as I do some prep work for the next soap. Today I'm going to be making some embeds using some melt and pour so let's go and see what we're making. So today's soapy embeds are going to be made using some melt and pour and I like to use the Stevenson's No Sweat. I'm using some of the white and in this one here I have a little bit of the clear. I'm going to go and melt these down in the microwave in short bursts. This one will probably take 5 to 10 seconds and this one here I'll do in 10 to 20 second lots until it is fully melted. So my little one here is melted down and it took no longer than that 10 seconds. What I'm going to do with the clear is I am going to add in some red liquid dye and this is Carmine from Aussie Soap Supplies. I'm using this one just to try and keep a kind of translucent look to the clear melt and pour and I'm just trying to get the tiniest little drop in there. So I'm going to mix that one in. And now that I have that mixed in, it is time to start with our moulds. And I have these moulds here which have got some teeth on them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pipette, I'm going to pick up some of this red, and then with these teeth moulds, you've got some really long ones here. So they're kind of like the fangs or the biting teeth. And all I'm going to do is just drizzle a little bit of the red down into them so it looks like they have bitten into somebody. All right, now that they're all full, I have a little water bath sitting over on my stove and I'm just gonna go and sit this in there to keep this nice and fluid because I am gonna need to do two lots of these. So the white is now all melted down nicely and I'm going to leave this as just a white soap. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get that little bit out of there that I dribbled because I don't want that to be on the top of the teeth there. And I've just got some rubbing alcohol here. I'm just going to give that a quick spritz so that where we've got that red, it will actually adhere to the white. And all I'm going to do is pour my white up to the sort of gum line of these molds. So we're going to pour these in here and we are going to hopefully make a really good looking set of teeth for this next soap. Okay, so I'm going to leave, oh we've missed one, oh no, let's get this one filled up as well, that was almost disaster there. Alright, so I'm going to leave these sit here for a little bit just to harden up, I'm just going to break those bubbles with some of that rubbing alcohol. And I'm going to leave what's left of this white in my little um, Bain Marie water bath over on the stove, and I'm going to go and get the next colour ready. So I have the next lot of melt and pour all ready to go here. Now I could have just put the extra colour into that other white jug but because I do need to pour these a couple of times and I want to have the same colour gum line, I've made up a fresh batch here. And to colour this one I am using some rose gold mica from my micro obsession. So I'm just going to add a bit of that in and then stir it and see if we get the colour that we're after. Alright, so now that that is all nicely mixed in, I'm just going to grab my rubbing alcohol. I'm going to spray the tops of these and that is just to help the two layers actually bond together. And now all I'm going to do is pour this melt and pour over the top. So I'm going to give that just a quick spritz with some alcohol. I'm going to go and put that spare melt and pour into my water bath. And then we will come back and we will unmold these in a bit and see what we've got. Okay, so these are now ready to start popping out of the silica mold. I'm just going to give the mold a little bit of a stretch just to loosen them off the side. And then we should just be able to very gently push them out. And this is what our teeth are looking like. I am loving the red tips on those two canine teeth there. Really pleased with how that has come together. Now I know this week's behind the scenes video has been quite a quick one. Um, and very simply pouring that melt and pour soap. But what I wanted to show to you 
is don't be afraid that when you get these molds to actually layer colors together to get a bit more of a realistic look to your embeds so rather than just pouring all white in there or all pink or something like that you can always as I've done here add various colors to get the different shades throughout the soap now he needs to go to the dentist because his tooth is broken but that's all right by making two lots of these I'll end up with a few more than what I need so that's not too bad that that's a little bit of a waste we'll grab this one out of here and here is another one that's another perfect set of teeth there for the next soap so as I said I'm going to keep getting these out and then I am going to make my um, oils up for the soap for Saturday so if you are keen to see what I do for the Saturday soap don't forget to subscribe and maybe hit that little bell button and it will let you know when I bring that video out if you did enjoy watching how I made my teeth using the melt and pour soap in those layers why not leave me a thumbs up in any comments down below and I will get back to you with any questions that you may have and until Saturday's video I hope you have a wonderful week I'll see you then Bye.